welcome my name is Melissa from Endo Empowered and today I want to show you what I typically have for breakfast so I just got up and I thought hey you guys need to know what I have for breakfast and this breakfast is completely gluten-free it's dairy free it's sugar free it's pretty much the most healthiest nutritious breakfast that you could combine by yourself and it is fantastic it tastes Fabulous. So the first thing you're going to do is make some tea. Now this is not tea to drink, this is actually going to be your milk. Okay, so this is going to be the liquid part of your breakfast. And I like to use hibiscus flowers. They are just beautiful and they are very, very high in antioxidants, which is why I recommend them. So probably about a teaspoon of those and we pop that in our little and we just pop that on the side with some hot water so that that can infuse while we're making the rest of our breakfast okay then what we're going to be doing is just combining a whole bunch of cool things okay now this is the main ingredient of your breakfast which is coconut flakes these are beautiful they're organic and um, really light so you basically just put in enough like you would put in if you were making cereal. So that's sort of, you know, your base. That's your main ingredient. Then I generally add in some pumpkin seeds. Very high in zinc. So we really want to get that in there. Then some sesame seeds. The sesame seeds give it a, a, a very different flavor and you could do a lot more with the sesame seeds. Sometimes I have more sesame seeds and then add more apple. So depending on what fruit you have available, you might want to add more or less of those. And I also add in some black sesame seeds. Now these are called nigella seeds. The best, most nutritious seeds you could ever eat. Like these will boost your immune system. They are anti-aging, they're just amazing. So I highly recommend adding those in. Just a little bit, you don't need to add a huge amount of those. They have got quite a strong flavor, so you don't want to have too many of those. I also put in some goji berries. So goji berries are um, also very high in antioxidants, really great for your liver, so really supporting your liver health, supporting that, getting your hormones out of your body. So really want to have some goji berries in there. And then we have some cocoa nibs. So cocoa nibs are very high in magnesium. And magnesium is one of those very common with endometriosis that we have deficiency in magnesium. So I like to get it from cocoa, not chocolate. <laughs> uh, because with chocolate you're getting all the negatives like the sugar and, and you know your milks and things like that. So Cocoa nibs, they are not sweet, so don't go and munch on them like this because they're not nice like this. They're quite bitter, but in a mix like this, you, you just get a hint of their taste and it's really lovely. Okay, and then you can also add some sunflower seeds. So basically your seeds are all going to help with your fertility, lots of good fats in there, and you know, also will fill you up. So when you eat good fats, you will feel fuller for longer, which is what we want. And then, depending on what fruit you have in the house, so, you know, you could do an apple-raisin combination, you could do pistachio and banana combination, you know, so you can just be creative with whatever you have in the house. I happen to have some fresh strawberries that we got at the market, some blueberries, which once again, very high in antioxidants, and just gorgeous this time of year. We've also got some banana, so that'll add a bit of sweetness in there. So we just pop those in there. And we give all of this a bit of a stir. So there we go. And we've got a beautiful, delicious breakfast. Now, as you can see, this is a little bit dry, which is why we're now going to add our milk, <laughs> which is some tea. Now, the hibiscus is gorgeous because it's slightly red in color. You won't be able to see it here, but it is slightly red in color. And just a hint of sweetness in there, just not very much. But really, you could use any kind of tea. 
Um, you could have, you know, powder arco tea, you could have a green tea if you want to go super healthy, you know, you can choose whatever kind of tea. The other option is if you'd like to have more of a milk consistency is to make a smoothie. So, you know, whip up a smoothie in your blender and then use that as your milk. So you don't have to worry about having dairy and worrying about what kind of milks you should be getting and having to stock different milks and they go off and all of that. Don't have to worry about this. Um, the brilliant thing about this breakfast is you can have this breakfast on the road. So, you know, you just need to have little bags of goodies with you and you just combine those together and you've got breakfast. You could just use water if need be, need be and you're all set to go. You just need a little bowl and, and off you go. So I love this breakfast and it is paleo, it is, you know, gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, you name it, it's pretty much ticks all the boxes and it is super yummy. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast now and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Okay, 